Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, well, it is morning now. Uh, lately, I've been, I've had a, I made a mission to help as many people as I can in respect to their health and quality of life. Uh, and of course, lately, speaking of health, we have the situation with the coronavirus going on and i've been listening and and reading a lot about you know you know about this topic with you know from uh, specialists and uh people that are trying to find a solution on this and today i listened to uh, a doctor he was speaking about it about what can we do to get over this get through this thing right and it's funny because he said the same things I've been saying since the beginning is that um, we need to focus on the people that are at risk the most, you know, the elderly, the um, uh, the ones with that are overweight, uh, they have diabetes, uh, hypertension. Those are the, the highest risk factors right now. The problem is... Um, more than half of the population in the U.S. has those problems. Ten years from now, it's calculated that one-third of the population will have some type of diabetes. Um, heart disease is the number one killer in the country, in the world, almost in the world. Uh, so w what I've been saying is we need to take care of our health, period, you know. Uh, and that is the same way we're going to take care of this virus. What is it? Exercise and diet. Yes, many people have heard... Oh, the spider web there. I'm in the, I'm in the woods here in my house. Um, everybody has heard this before. Exercise and diet. What does that mean? Well, exercise is as little as walking on a daily basis. We spend too much time uh, sitting down in front of a computer, watching TV, you know, not moving enough. We need to move more. That's one, I mean, to prevent all those diseases, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, Alzheimer, uh, some cancers, we need to move more. Uh, in diet, it just so happens that the same diet, and I'm not talking about going on a diet for a period of time or, you know, to, to be healthy and then just get off of it. I'm talking about changing your diet for the rest of your life, which I have done, you know, for a few months now, uh, and I've seen great results. So, and the, that diet is a plant-based diet, a whole food plant-based diet not a vegan diet because you can be vegan and eat crappy food you don't want that you want healthy food what will that do that will take care or at least will optimize your chances to fighting any any disease any virus um your immune system will, will, be, will be better and also you will be preventing heart disease you can reverse diabetes you can uh, prevent uh, Alzheimer's. There are some studies now they're showing that, which is not you know finished yet. But um, so I mean, it's there's no better time to start uh, taking care of yourself because right now a lot of people, well, they're not they're not afraid of they're not afraid of you know dying from heart disease. They're not afraid of having diabetes, their, you know, uh, hypertension is not a concern. Why? Because that kills people slowly, okay? It takes, it doesn't, it, it not only takes years out of their life, but it takes life out of their years. So if you do something to uh, prevent those things, you will also increase your chances to fighting the coronavirus. Okay, yes, it does matter. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, filling your cabinets with supplements and things like that. No, I'm talking about a whole food plant-based diet, which will give you all the nutrients you need. You need, um, you need vitamin D, you need, uh, which vitamin D you get it from the sun actually is not, you know, you can get it in supplements, but 
the best way is to get it from the sun. Uh, 15 minutes of exposure daily will get you that. Um, uh, all the other nutrients, you know, like uh, magnesium, zinc, vitamin C, uh, and a bunch of others will all help your immune system. Okay? So eating a well-balanced diet will improve your odds against this coronavirus. And the, 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 the fact is, we either going to have to get some kind of vaccines, which there's no... There's no uh, uh, predicament right now to when we're going to get that. Um, or we can get infected with the virus. In fact, a lot of people have been infected already and just not been tested, never went to the doctor, never uh, uh, seeked help because they got over it. They were uh, asymptomatic. So um, the, the thing is, this virus is not as deadly as people think. Yes, they do kill. Yes, I'm not saying that it's not a serious situation, but people are blowing it out of proportion. Okay, in my opinion, that's just my opinion. Um, if you're afraid of getting the virus, yeah, take precautions. You wear your mask, uh, avoid contact with people, but don't do just that. Watch what you're putting inside your body. In order for you to, if you do get infected, you need to create um, uh, antibodies. To create antibodies, you need protein, you need nutrients, you need a bunch of things for your body to uh, um, fabricate those antibodies. So you need good stuff into your body. You need good food, good, good, uh, good sources of nutrients. Okay, and that is not, I mean, yes, you can get some good nutrients from animal products, but the package it comes in, it's not as good as in plants. Uh, plants have all the protein you need. Plants have iron. Plants have uh, all the nutrients that we need. The only thing you're not going to get in plants is vitamin B12. You are going to need to, but that is not just be. Everybody needs to be supplementing B12 because there's a lot of people that are omnivores. They eat everything. They eat meat and they still B12 deficient. So it's not a matter of uh, eating meat or not eating meat. Uh, you still need to supplement with B12. Most people do anyway. Uh, and the good thing is if you go on a plant-based diet, you start to get to be more aware of what you're eating, of what your nutrition is. So most likely, if you go on a plant-based diet, your level of nutrients is gonna increase instead of being on a on a omnivore diet. Um, and especially if, you, if you're on a standard American diet, forget it. You're 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 not getting your nutrients that you need. You're, you're eating junk. Okay. So, um, like I said, my mission is to help people. Okay, it's to help make this aware, uh, bring this awareness up, you know, for, for, for people. Because in my experience, it has been tremendous. Okay, when I went on a plant-based diet, I, my energy went up, my, my speed in the, in the 5K increased, uh, you know, my time decreased. So my wife has lost weight and she's doing much better. She has some hip pains and now she's over it. Uh, so the, the level of inflammation goes down when you're on a plant-based diet. And what I can say is this, even if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that this helps, that it, that it works, all you have to do is try. If you try, if you're honest with yourself and you try going without animal products and eating whole foods, that is, you know, all the vegetables, lots of, lots of fruits, um, uh, rice, beans, uh, you know, all the grains, but whole foods, not things that come in, you know, all sorts of packages that, that were processed to, to, you know, become what they are, but things that are natural, the way, uh, the closest they come from nature, the better, okay? Obviously, you're not going to eat raw beans. You need to cook them because if you eat them raw, you'll, you know, you'll be sick, Okay, so, I mean, use common sense, obviously. But um, 
all you have to do is try. You try for, you know, one month or, 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 or 21 days. I guarantee you, if you do it correctly, if you eat a variety of foods, you're not going to have any deficiency, nutrient deficiency, and, and the opposite is, is true. You're actually going to increase your nutrients, and you, you're definitely going to feel the difference, especially if you're fat. And I'm not going to say overweight because overweight doesn't exist. That term was created to be more polite to people. Um, there's no such thing as overweight. You can, a person can be very healthy with a higher weight uh, to height ratio because that's how they base it. If you're overweight, if you have a certain height and you weigh a certain amount of pounds or kilos, then you're overweight, which is completely nonsense because if you are you know, very muscular, uh, you have a very muscular body and you're going to have a higher you know, weight to, to height ratio, does that make you overweight or, or unhealthy? No, it just means that you have more body mass. Now, the percentage of that body mass is what we wanna focus on, that it's not, that it's not coming from fat. So your body fat percentage matters, okay? That's what you wanna reduce. So if you're overweight, most likely that you're saying that you're fat, okay? So if that's the case, you will definitely benefit from this diet. You will benefit regardless. As I was never overweight. I was 152 pounds when I started this diet. Now I'm down to 140. And at my first reaction was, oh my God, I'm losing weight. I can't be too skinny. But then I, I stopped and I thought, well, why not? If my body is deciding that this is my ideal weight, then so be it. I have about 6% body fat right now. My energy went up, my, you know, everything got better. So I'm like, why do I need to get fixated on that number? 150 or 165 pounds, doesn't matter how much you weigh. It may, it, it, what matters is how healthy you are. And the least body fat, the better, because you can't get much lower than, than you know, f five or 6% unless you are an elite athlete that you train numerous hours. So most likely you're not gonna get that low anyway. Uh, but you need to get down to the, the teens, you know, like if, if you're a male, you need to be between 10 and 15 uh, uh, percent body fat. If you're a female, uh, I would, re that's me personally, uh, recommending below 20, okay? That's my recommendation. Uh, and even in college, they, uh, we, we learned that it, for women, it used to be like 18 to 25 body fat percentage was the normal, uh, was healthy, but it's, it's not really. When you get to 25%, you're, you're not healthy, okay? It, that's not healthy. So below 24 women. Um, so like I was saying, the plant-based diet, if you just decide to try it, it's, I, mean, I never heard anybody that, it really that it didn't do anything for them or it didn't work for them if they did it right okay there are things that you need to pay attention to uh, like if you eat too many nuts and seeds those have lots of oil in it if you eat too much of it it's not gonna be healthy so you gotta you know uh, eat them just sparingly uh, like uh, avocados you don't want to eat avocados all day because it, they also have a great amount of fat in them which is high calorie and then if you increase too many you know you have you eating too many calories then you're also gonna uh, you're not gonna lose weight it's still healthier than your hamburgers and meat and all that stuff but it's not the optimum okay so but this information is all over the place you can I mean, contact me if you need <laughs> Uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, share with you guys what like a sort of like a plan. But it, uh, if, if you just research a little bit about plant-based diet, whole food plant-based diet, there's numbers of places that can uh, give you a guide. Uh, one website is um, nutritionfacts.org. He has a bunch of videos on, on everything pretty much related to this diet. And he, uh, Dr. Michael Greger is his name. He actually has an app uh called the daily dozen uh that kind of give you an idea what you should be eating um a day but it's just an idea okay you don't need to follow it down to the t you know you you just it's just an, a broad idea and then after you get used to it you'll see that you learn you learn how to 
um, you know, prepare your food and things like that and what you need to be eating. And as long as you have a colorful plate, you should be fine okay uh make it always eating your fruits and vegetables uh your your grains your beans and you you get all the nutrients you need you get all the calories you need uh, and i guarantee you you will see improvement okay and that will put you at a at a lower risk for the coronavirus and also will 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 uh, prevent you from getting those other chronic diseases, which is, you know, like heart, uh, heart disease, diabetes, and all that. So, uh, there's no reason why not to try. Okay. You should at least try it. If you do, I, you're probably going to see a difference. And if you don't like it, all you have to do is just go back to what you were doing before. Okay. It's not that complicated. And I'm not recommending anything that's going to cause you harm. It's not a new substance that I'm telling you to, oh, try this. And uh, even though, you know, some people, uh, they jump on it if, when somebody promises a miracle with one pill and they, oh, I'm, I'm going to buy that and try it. Well, if you can try that, you, then you, you should try uh, eating natural, okay? Eating plants uh, as much as you can, okay? So that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, uh, you feel free to uh, like and subscribe, share with anybody that you want, share on, on Facebook or whatever um, social media you, you have. Uh, and I'm available to anybody that wants to, um, that needs any help, just message me, leave you a comment below or, um, and I'll, I'll be in contact. All right. You guys have a wonderful day or weekend or week and uh, a wonderful life. Okay. Peace. Plants.